Hey guys, Crypto Shadows here, and welcome back to another episode of Neverwinter Peace on the PC. So, um, since the last episode, I've done a few things. Um, one, I've got 2,000 zen. Aha. So, I kind of uh, go away, please, thank you. I kind of bought some more zen. Being an idiot. So, first thing I'm going to do I'll put all items purchased from the Zen store with permanent advantage. Counter may not be transferred. But, VIP level 1. Now then, uh, one of what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy shitload of keys so 8 keys I believe just there what's that 8? but we can also get the VIP account rewards and the like that so that gives us a key and this one here gives us an epic dungeon chest key and that so we have got eight, 9 enchanted keys to open none of these and we didn't get anything rare but what did we get so a lost artifact pack uh, we got all right stuff there so let us open these not bad again Another lost artifact pack. Superior enchanting stone. That will come in handy. And then here we go. The enchantment one. Teal diamond, violet, violet diamond, brilliant diamond. Wow. Three black opals and... Ooh, superior mark. That's good as well. Oh, wasn't there another... I don't know, another one somewhere? Um, obviously not. So, uh, we've got all these. Now I just need to. Um... You are truly revolting! Oh, shut up, stupid skull. Uh, right, what should I do? I think I need to go to. I'll go and put these in the bank. Screw it. So that VIP will be with us for a month. So by the end of this month we'll have about 29 keys and then we can just swoop on through them which will not be bound. So yeah. I just gotta remember to log on each day to do them. So let us go. Want to trade sword not of the loyal defender. Ooh. Plus ten percent threat generation the out. No thanks. Right. So let's speak to our banker. Uh that one there is Alright, let's deposit that, deposit that, deposit that. No, they are able to put on the market. You're not, so you can go in there, you're not, you're not, you're not, uh, what else isn't, that's not, they're not, they're not, neither are they, neither are they, wait, they are allowed, so that's fine, uh, what else isn't allowed, these, these black opals I will take down in the refinement, so that's fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, I really hate this thing. I'm going to choose all of them. So all of them. I'm going to there. Use all rune stones, all of them can go in there. And then gemstones convert all. 
7,500 which we got a bonus on so that's nice and dandy so that superior enchanting stone will be able to upgrade our lantern so we can upgrade but first off I'm putting a press ward in there because you've got to So we failed that one. We got it because you can see there. Boom! So the lantern is up to purple. And we can get it up to level 72. Which will give us a 10% chance for the legendary lantern. But for now we are just going to keep it like that. So... That's that done. So we've got purple lantern, so that's brilliant. Um, a lot of trade files. So we can uh, do a load of. I'll do a load more of them sword things off camera. So we can. Uh, thing. So yeah, I'll take a load of them sword uh Um I'll buy a load of sword from that guy and dismantle them into AD, but for now we are gonna go to Velosk to get ourselves some quest done. So again, for the second time, let's go into the woods. So first off, I am going to just refine them. I need to sort this out. Right, so let us go on the, mark on the auction house because these ones here we can sell. So post all these up. That's bound. They're not. They're not. They are. They're not. What else is bound? Uh, all of them. Um. Right. Okay then. So yeah. That's all that. Then let's go speak to this guy and then we'll speak to a merchant just to sell all the shit that we've got. So let's just speak to this guy and then We do not have much, but Sell all my treasure. Like that. And then we'll sell. All of them. Because I mean, we don't we don't need them anymore. So they're bound normal scroll, so they're fine. That one can go. No, I did not mean to sell them. That can go down there. That can go down there. See, we got five bags, which is neat. So that's all of that. Now then, let's go. Have you come to help? Grey Wolf tribe catch all forces. Grey Wolf who follow the Nether Ease. Can we speak to this woman here? Because I know this woman had a. My wolves are hungry. Yep. What are you looking at? Yes, I'm injured. I can't hunt. And my poor wolves are hungry. I would let them go out and hunt by themselves. But I fear for their safety. You want to help? Well, if you find yourself fighting werewolves, they're often killed food, usually fresh meat. 
If you can find enough Okay, so we need to destroy three shallow totems, which is up that way. The bit of necklaces are down that way, and the fresh meat I can just kill, get anywhere really. So first off, let's go down this way to get the, uh, hey, spirit wall. So, as you can see, fresh meat, we can pretty much just get anyway. Get out of here. So yeah, the next three places will be, um... Like, the last quest that we need to do for the quest line is the dungeon. So we do need to complete all the missions for it. Sort of thing. So, Pirate Skyhold and the uh, Ice Spy, we're probably going to have to split into three parts. Because both of them are fucking long. Both of them two are long as hell. What's this? Minus 33 damage, nope. Denied. And let's get the last necklace. And the last fresh meat. So now let's go and destroy the shallow totems. Feed the wolves and give the woman, uh, give the guy, then put the necklaces on the altar. Even, uh, I'm not with it today. I don't know why. I'm just knackered. Yeah, I mean, I can just go through this because they're 13 levels lower than me, so they're not aggro to me. So I'm happy. Boing, boing, boing. How many more XP do we need to got left on our booster? 3.3 million. Basically, we've got 600,000 XP, I think. Hey, you! Fucking come here. There it will. Yeah. Hey. Up. There's another one. Oh, fuck off. Boom. You dead. Okay, so let's destroy these totems now. So I was trying to catch all these shadow walls because I mean I might as well while I don't have any um Or spirit spirit walls even. Idiot. But I wanna try and get the some enchantments. Fair enough I've got like zero rays and that. Which I do need to put onto my gear because they will help me level up, but I just haven't had the really right gear to do that. Because I'm going through one by one, it's uh, taken me an awful lot longer time to 
get my right gear to use them. Because I don't want to keep on taking them off and using gold to take them in and off and everything. So, now that's all then done, let's go back to the camp. Now, we were level 48 when we left off last episode. Um, the reason why we're 49 is because I went to do some um CTA capture the bridge so um that's why I'm level 49 but anyhow you gotta do what you gotta do alright let's just Oh my god, is that the fucking carpet? Oh my god. That is so fucking cool. and go chat. So we have got the sacred pool. From the forsworn camp, <coughs> past the hunter's path. So Beyond this one's not pool. really that long, Behind I don't think. Fog, will... Trespass in our sacred places and take what they please. They must be punished for their transgressions. Take the path southwest of the sacred pool and cross the pool of the Zinshar ruins. Okay, so Slave nine is going to be our spirit number, spirit wolf number. We get two white pearls, five grey wolf insignia, three thousand nine hundred XP. So we only got fifty fucking four. Fuck me, fire. Alright, so let's place this bitch's orb. Oh, we didn't turn into the woman at the uh. I don't know where to go anymore.
Right. Let's go to the enclave. <sighs> Have we crashed? Nope. Come on, game. Finish patching the files. There we go. You don't mind doing all that leg work for me, do you? Slice it open. You are truly revolting. You're dead. Boom, bit. You're dead. And there's the ruins of the fallen. But also when I was saying about the um, VIP, I'll just show you quickly. Uh, we get 10% bonus XP, glory and XP for most professions. So that's good. 15% bonus astral diamonds on runs of the dungeon skirmishes and PvP. Fuck's sake. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Moonstone Mass, access to the VIP area, daily rewards, 10 identification scrolls, 1 epic dungeon key, and 1 enchanted key per account. So basically what I can do is go onto my control wizard and collect the epic dungeon key on that one as well. Now when you get up to VIP 12, uh, you can get three keys a day but you still only get one enchanted key for a lot lot and a load of other benefits which I won't bother talking about that will take just take a long ass time ah shit Oh fuck sake. Ah oh, for fuck's sake. I just saw it as well as soon as I walked over it. Uh, I don't have any more injury kits man, this could be catastrophic. Right, I've gotta watch be vigilant. Ah level fifty. Right, I'm not going over there because I don't need to. I need to go to this fucker right here. Who the Nashes are attacking? Are the Nashes still fucking going? Never eat. Six quarts as well, it's running low. Oh my god, it's fucking ambush or what? Fuck me! 
fucking hell, fire. Where's all these gnashers come from? Right, they're dead. The powers. We've got two points available, so... I'm going to put it into this one. And then... I'm going to put it in this one, which I'm going to take for that. And I'll show you what that one does in just a second. So first off, let's just equip this. And... Equip that, like that. So this is what that does. It's just a massive hit on the face, pretty much. And let's go. So yeah, obviously we need to... Uh, oh, I need to do my feats as well. Destroyer. Ah yes, that's that's what I want. That one. And then I think I also... Yeah, and slam grants you 25% more power when it is active. Yeah, that's what I want as well. And that one. But first off, we need to put some more ability scores in, so another strength. And another dexterity, that would get us to 26 strength. And then if we just go here, we got an extra 13% uh, damage, 22% uh, crit chance, 11% resistance ignored, which is not good really. We need it to be a bit higher. But, uh, hey, well, what are you going to do? So we are 20 levels from the maximum level we can get, which is awesome. So let's go up to here. I must cook my thanks. The orb you placed is transferring the air. And then a thing. The storm colors of the the greatest of the grey wolf tribal shamans is a powerful storm. Voice of thunder, I think, is one of them. His heart has become corrupted by the netherese. Yeah, voice of thunder is the next one, and then the grey wolf den, which we need to go up there for. There's a quest up there. Enter the mystical storm color caves near the top and kill Thunderhound and Mutant's Mr. Do the guild daily quest for a ton of XP. Bloody dog, man. <sighs> right, so we need to kill storm callers. Boom. And that, that there is just some of the damage that we can do with the interdominable battle strike. Oh my god, that fucking dog is seriously annoying me. He does nothing but fucking bark all day. <laughs> he was asleep like three minutes ago when I went down. Ugh. Probably seen a cat again. Come on. So we need to go to the Stormcaller Caves. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dogs. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Dogs. So we're probably going, I think we're going to go in about half an hour now. So we'll do this one, see what we come up with. Let's see where we come out to.
Boom! Fuck that guy. So yeah, this one here, number five, when we get um that's uh next power, that will give us an extra twenty-five percent of our power. So if our power was fifty thousand, that would give us what? About seven no. That would give us twelve and uh, twelve and a half thousand more. Which in the long run is very fucking good. So we're off to kill Thunderhow, one of the big werewolves that had a tendency to fuck you up, sort of thing. So I'm actually getting crit for days right now. Oh, we got a warlord. We got a werewolf warlord. Okay, so that's them. And then let's just continue on. To this bit, and they're dead. Now we've got one over here, which has got that shit 50 ton of walls in it. Which they're all dead in. Dead, storm corner rat, thank you. So we need to kill two three more storm callers. To get this uh, damn thing done up. I mean when we reach level 64 we'll also be able to start Sharindar. Which I'm looking forward to doing actually. I don't know why, because I've done it before, but... Oh, I don't know where all these, where all them lot just came from. I think we're almost there. Yes, we are. We are right here. So, wonder how is like a spell played type uh, werewolf, I guess. I think. I think um, that's like meddled with electricity as well. And there we go, the ring of four seconds. So the gauntlets of power as well. Which we will take. And equip. And then just might be mindful of that trap just there. And return to Valhart. So we now still need to kill three more storm callers, so let's start. Yeah. Okay. 
So there's that one. There's another one up here. And you can see how much you need like how much you need to focus on using this class when you're doing it like that sort of thing so you've got like three different things to do at once then use your uh, interdominable battle strike and then keep using your sure strike and everything else and yeah so shout and then go into this determination and pow and pow like that And now, let's go. There, yeah, these are level 49. Next place is the Pirate Skyhold, I think we're going to. And then I Spy Peak. Which is the one that I love. So, now we need to go to Seeking the Spirit, which is all the way up here. The battle father, as the Netherese push the Grey Wolves to the worship of Shah, the Uthgar Shrine has become neglected. Travel west and north from the Sacred Pool and up. Yeah, as you can see, this one is a long ass journey. And then you kind of get ambushed right here. It's, sorry, I was just yawning, but you're supposed to get ambushed there, but because I'm uh, 10 levels higher than these, I don't get ambushed, so yeah. And you come up here from their camp, all the way up here, to this bit here. Not up there, that's for a little bit more of a one. So we need to collect three soul shards and a never, never, never see all. So let's just quickly do that because we can actually uh, do that without aggroing anyone. So that's fine. So we need to collect the soul shards, which is one right here and one in here. And these guys here are guarding the orb. Just take your orb, don't worry about me. Thank you. And then the last soul shard should either be in here. Well, actually, they're both in here and in that other tent, so there's quite a few everywhere, really. But nonetheless, we managed to get what we need without aggroing anyone. So we can continue. So the, also the interdominal battle strike. Um, you don't need to hit anybody to gain some action AP. So if I hit again, we'll get our skill. So we need to kill twelve shark up, whatever that is. And then we need to kill the Whisper Soul in the temple, which will give us a 30 plus damage sword. I'll take that any day. So you know what, I'm just going to do this all in one episode because we've not got much left got like one more quest left and then that's it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the dungeon I'm going to do the dungeon off camera so we won't have much left so yeah I know we need to kill these guys but why waste our time and everything on these guys when we can just go into here and pretty much just get the same Two for two quests in one, so because there's always going to be a load of shout uh, thingy guys in here. 
so I'm just going to rest for this injury, which is 30 seconds. In the meantime, what we can do is we can just pull up our character sheet and then just exchange them, exchange them. Now I'm going to put an Azuri in. enchantment in there and that will take it will cost me 1.2 gold to undo it so that will give us a 12% XP bonus so if we go down here we've got 22% XP bonus currently and I can do it on the boots as well but we just got new boots so we can do that 34% XP bonus so now what does this say? 34% experience multiplier. So basically I think we're now getting um I believe now we're getting 200 and no 134% I think. So I'm not too sure on that one. I'm trying to get through as much as I can without aggroing. Ah, and I think I aggroed, didn't I? Oh well, let's come down there and kill these fuckers with them. Oh, what the fuck? I thought these guys don't walk, they just fly. Well, apparently not. Oh, that was close. That was a trap just there. Where's that arrow pointing from? Just there as well. Fucking hell. So we kind of got these guys to start fucking. I just hate these dire helms. They're just so annoying. The dire helms and the gloom blades are just so fucking. Hey, Regal! I think I need that one. Alright, so let's just go into my mounts. Nope, it's a fucking crescent, isn't it? Fuck's sake. Now I think we're actually nearing the end because uh, there's a witch here, so. Where's this bit? I don't know. No, I thought it was no name. Ah, man. And that's that. Boom, bitch. Did it. So, yeah, we, we are almost, I think, at the end now. Because if I remember it right then, I think it is this. Uh, dungeon thing. It's not long at all. Moon Sea Salt, I'll take that. Yeah, here we go. There's two Dire Helms here as well. There's one there and there's one somewhere else. But basically, this guy's a witch. Uh, this one's a witch again. I mean, I think you can pretty much tell by your voice, sort of thing, so... Bitch, you need. 
Oh, will you stop fucking dating me, you slut? And you're dead. Dark Thief is rain. What is it with fucking rains? Like, what is it with everybody in rings, man? Like, what the actual fuck? Okay, so, Blood Fury Sword. There we are. Let's go. So, another plus 30 damage, so that would be, what? Between 400 and 492. Okay! So, we're not doing that bad. Level 50! Gonna go up to level 51 in a minute. So we need to return to Dying Howl and then collect one last mission. And then do that and then this is over. Let's go! Dun 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 And the high road. Oh no. Wait, yes it is, because look, the layers are done, so we have finished. So we just need there's one guy up here that we need to speak to. To complete the quest here, and then we're done. So again, these guys are like level, I don't know what, but it's snowing because we're halfway up the mountain, so. So we need to kill Great Wolf Past Masters, and recover the Talesmen, and then throw them into the door up there to unlock the dungeon, and then we're done. So that's them. So these are all just storm callers up here, so we don't need these guys. So we've got the Tailsman of Salune. Eh? Is this guy a. Yes, he is, so let's just kill him. Let's quickly grab this Talesman. Then we need to activate the Crease Ball up here. First off, we're going to kill this guy. So that's him dead, and now we interact with this, that will blow that open, ready for the dungeon. So we need to now go back to Hadrick Longtooth. Back to the city and into the wolf den. The bloodthirsty and greedy Thrani of Mara's Lake. 
It's she who swore the blood oath to Clariburna's path. The Prince of Shame. To lead our people against the Thaeans. It's because of her our people suffer and die in a pointless We need to go back to the Hungry Light Walls. And then back to Neverwinter in the Protector's Enclave. Hey, hello, what's what's in here? Bom bidi bom bidi bom bidi bom. So this guy this place got us from forty nine to fifty one. Which ain't bad, the next two places are quite long, so they'll probably get us to both combined, maybe 56, 57. Andrew Apprentice Clay, what's that? Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this into the wolf den on my, on off camera. So hopefully we can get some good gear out of it as well. I'm hoping that we can. So I'm going to speak to this one up here just to get that thousand XP that she said that she'll give me. There's no greater hunting compared. Thank you, stranger. There we go. So by the time the next episode starts, we'll probably be I don't know, 52, I think. So let us continue. So also we actually still get that's fifty percent of a boost, so we got three thousand eight hundred of that. But I get a fifteen percent on top of that I think it's fifteen. Yeah, fifteen percent on top of that. Oh no, that's in dungeons, isn't it? Idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, me <laughs> so that is going to be to Sergeant Knox and then we'll end the episode. Cannot wait to start to what when did they bring them in? Hi. Shittity damn. Oh, I so want that man. Look at that. That carpet just looks fucking amazing. Protectors on claim needs your Hello. Head. Turn for the wood. Right, so Pirate's Guy Hold, I think, is what the next one is, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Pirate's Guy Hold, then I Spy, then the Chasm. So by the time we've completed the Chasm, we would have gotten level 60, I reckon. I really do. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to end the episode off. I just want to quickly just check this guy. Uh, see if he has any more things for me. No, 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 no. Okay. Right. Uh, what? Whoa, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna keep doing this as well. So we need to uh, finish off the uh, thing in Neverdeath still. 
So I'm going to go and do that and do the Grey Wolf Den. But I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time for the Pirate Skyhold. And yeah, I'll see you all later guys. Bye for now.